Our CWC has been progress since 2019. That's when we broke the ground, uh, November of 2019. We dedicate this prayers yes. in the name of the Father, yes. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. To say amen. amen. We were hoping to get it done by 2020. And uh, unfortunately, that's when COVID hit. And so even the support that we were getting was uh, completely delayed or completely cut. And we could, couldn't continue. But we had uh, done a very good chunk of it uh, in 2020. We had to build all the way 21 slowly. And then all 22 is when we, uh, we, we were able to complete uh, everything. We had to design it in a way that uh, the clinic is in it and the school is in it and we didn't want the students to feel like they are coming to school in a hospital and the patients to feel like they are coming to the hospital in a school and so it had to be well designed and uh, amazingly well it came out uh, like a, a, a great work of art. The, the two co-founders have to always consult and we, we, we always look for professional so that they can be able to help us uh, implement the vision that we, we do have. So, and that's how we have come about with, uh, with what we have today. Our center was completed in 2022 at the beginning and we wanted to make sure that the whole community knows that the center is now open. And uh, so we hyped everything and we made a lot of uh, communication and a lot of noise, just making sure that everybody knows that July 2nd is the day that we are officially opening the center. And it was a, a, a big occasion. Uh, we had lots of uh, guests uh, from the government and from businesses and uh, other partners who have been partner uh, partnering with Ubuntu all showed up and uh, the children had uh, a, a wonderful day. You can only imagine how we are feeling, very excited, uh, coming from uh, a 2,000 square feet building to a 20,400 square foot building. The playground is amazing. The building itself is amazing. We have bigger space and uh, wow, we were exposed to a lot of dust even where we were. The trucks sometimes would lose, would like lose the brakes and we were always in fear of getting in, into an accident because they would bump into the building sometimes and we thought that might happen any time. So now that we are all free, we are in our own premises where we don't hear the noise, we don't hear even the car noises, we don't have the pollution, we just have beautiful trees. We are very, very excited. The, the dream of having the Children's Wellness Center, which we are now calling CWC, uh, came about uh, when we were thinking of the kind of service we wanted to offer. Uh, we wanted to have like uh, the best care, uh, we wanted to have quality care, and uh, there is no better way of doing that other than having like a great facility. And so we decided we are going to have a state of art uh, facility uh, supported by many people, uh, our donors, who have been uh, faithful in supporting the, the work that we are doing. A few days before the opening, the Exodan saw the foundation staff overwhelmed with joy as they packed up. They all expected new great things that would come with the space, state-of-the-art facilities being on top of the list. With the space, we now have uh, additional equipment, that is the parallel bar, the pit ball, the staircase, the balancing board, and the social swing. We are able to provide pediatric therapy. We can now provide sensory and play therapy to our kids who are under the spectrum and those who have sensory processing disorders. We shall have also additional services such as physiotherapy, and who knows, we can even have orthopedic technology, which is part of the rehabilitation field when it comes to serving children with disabilities. What we are enjoying currently is that we have a dining area, so we get to eat together with the staff. We also have spacious classes, 
and what the classes are doing for us is that we can expand and increase the number of kids. We can also expand the, the number of activities that we are doing in class, such as vocational training. Uh, other things we have is that we have spacious washrooms. And what the washrooms have are the fittings for a changing pad for the kids, which wasn't there before. And now that we enjoy a bit more privacy. We also have a playground, which the kids are excited about. It is equipped, it is ready and running, and the kids are really enjoying it. Previously in the CTC, there used to be, we didn't have a lab. And so, us having a lab which is well equipped, uh, uh, having the biochemistry and uh, the hematology machines is enabling us to do close to 25 tests. And with these tests, we are able to actually diagnose patients better. From the treatment room, we have new equipment and one of them being oxygen. We have oxygen, we have a suturing pack. And so we are able to manage kids who come in and whose, uh, whose oxygen saturations are low. In addition to that, we are happy that we have uh, ample space. Uh, ample space for the lab, ample space for our pharmacy and also for our clients to sit into as they are wait to be seen by the by the doctor. And so we have seen we have also seen the number of general clients from the community growing and we are hoping that we can be able to serve more people not just in our community but also nationwide. With a professional or an ultra modern kitchen, our meal service delivery has become more efficient, whereby we are able to modify our meals according to the children's needs, especially having a multi banana cooker as well as a proper fridge. We are able to preserve the food that we get from our farm for a longer period of time. Our two kitchen staff are able to work simultaneously in the kitchen, being able to provide timely meals which are more efficient for our children. The CWC has since its opening impacted the special needs children, their parents and the community in different ways, both positive and negative. Toileting kuna a good hygiene. So that at a mtoto wangu kama hataweza kujishikilia kushika shika kila mahali hataweza kupata na kupatwa na madhara kwa sababu kuna kuwa obvious uko kuzuri ile challenge nimeona tu ilibidi sasa kila mzazi ajikomet kwa sababu anataka mtoto wake afike shuleni at, atafute transport sasa ile obi ningeomba mkitutafutia transport tunashukuru sana when we are talking about the the impact in the community, the impact is uh, coming in uh, in every area. Uh, the children, when we take up a child and we start supporting them, the other siblings start doing well in school because they are not ridiculed or stigmatized by others, and so they they, they improve in their education. The economy of the family gets better, and you can see that they they are growing in different areas. They are able to show some signs of growth. Promotion of these families to growth has taken some very crucial sacrifices by both individuals and organizations in support of Ubuntu Life Foundation Kids. I would really, really want to appreciate especially the initiators of um, uh, the, the support and that is uh, Dell Medical Center, especially for children and uh, the whole medical fraternity in Austin, Texas, who have been uh, partnering with us and committed, especially Dr. Jeff Kane uh, leading that team. Uh, it has been an amazing journey. And so to all of uh, our donors and supporters, I wish to say thank you so much. Uh, God bless you. With the resources in place and many more being needed, there is a plan to reach Ubuntu Life Foundation's full potential. We are looking forward to serving more children uh, from uh, now current 60 uh, all the way to 100 children, which will be around 100, 120 is our capacity. That is in the school side. In the therapy, uh, we are serving around 50. We would love that number to grow up to 100. And uh, in the clinic, uh, we are serving 250 at the moment and uh, looking forward to serving over a thousand on a monthly basis. As we serve the community with uh, great health, 
uh, quality health, a great service. Uh, I always uh, brag about our customer service, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, we, we, we are thinking of growth and uh, that is opening other sites. Uh, this is going to be the major hub where all these sites can be able to come and learn and go implement. And so we are going to have uh, other centers in different other places in the country. Uh, so one county at a time until we are able to serve the whole country. That's the goal. And uh, by the next 10 years, uh, we'll have spread our wings very wide so that we can be able to serve many more in the community. Ubuntu Life Foundation is clearly on a mission of liberating special needs children by enabling them to live a social and dignified life. For more information about our services, reach us through 0718-136-746 or follow us on our social media platforms at Ubuntu Life Foundation and on our website www.ubuntulife.foundation. The Children Wellness Center is a product of Ubuntu Life Foundation. Ubuntu Life Foundation. I am. We are.